Hello everybody. Gonna give you a quick update before this room starts to really transform. Um, as you can see, he's got the thin layer of thin set down on the floor. And you can see where the toilet's gonna go. He did not do that, of course. But basically he just covered the wire so that when he uses his trowel, um, there's less chance of nicking one of those wires. Looks great. Okay, so last look at the orange balls. They will start to get color today. We'll keep you updated as we go through the day. So we time-lapse videoed this process for you guys in hopes that uh, you could actually see what we were doing. Um, in the background, uh, Sean is actually putting mud on the tiles and Matt and I are trying to get it on the wall. And then they started to set them and we went up uh, from here, trying to keep everything clean and level um, all the way up, which was uh, difficult, um, keeping all the lines straight and all that good stuff. But the process was pretty much just like putting tile on a shower wall, only it was taller. And these tiles are definitely heavier. So if you guys have some questions about any of this, please put them in the comments and we will uh, get those answered for you. So enjoy these time-lapse videos. They were kind of fun. It was a long day <laughs> and hot, but I think the wall looks great. Can I give you a really quick update? I'll do a better one uh, in the morning. It's kind of late and the light's not great tonight. Um, but we did get the back wall. All tiled today. Pretty exciting. So those are two foot by four foot tiles. They're a half an inch thick and they are heavy. <laughs> um, so it took a little bit to get all of that uh, in place today. But we think we have uh, managed to get it all in. And you can see we got the supports going on, making sure everything stays good and flat. That turned out really great. Beautiful. Went through uh, numerous saw blades today. So we were thinking we were going to get to do some uh, crossville stuff, but we are going to definitely have to wait on some new saw blades to get here. So not sure what tomorrow's going to be, um, but stay tuned. I'm sure it will be just as exciting. If you have questions about any of this, just ask us. Um, we did do the time lapse video for you and uh, hopefully explaining it a little bit helped as well. We didn't put a grout line in it and uh, I like it that way. It's definitely harder to do that way. So if you're planning on doing something like this, make sure you measure the tiles, measure how many, the, how big the ribs are on each tile before you start. Um, that's the only thing that we ran into today that we weren't quite prepared for. Um, but besides that, we think it worked really well. I will tell you, I, we have, use these on <laughs> numerous things. They're Viking clamps. And as you can see, um, <laughs> we set cabinets with them, we lay tile with them, we set walls with them. We've done pretty much a whole bunch of different things with those. So that would be a good investment for a 
a gift for someone that does a lot of uh, construction or woodworking stuff as well. The inside of these windows um, will get some black cross fill pieces and it should just set the windows off really, really nice. We'll also use some matte black Schluter trim around the edges. In the ends where you still see the lovely orange, those get the matte black Crossville um, tile pieces and that whole wall that you see there that is orange, all the way to the ceiling will be one piece of black matte. So we're gonna frame this back cool wall uh, that we completed today. Like I said, I'll get you a nice video with his take on this, which is always much better than mine. So thanks for tuning in everybody. Sorry, didn't get another video with him talking. Um, we moved on to the outside right away, but these are some final pictures for you. Hope you enjoy. We decided to move outside and get a roof on this baby. So we got the metal roof on here and uh, we were really happy with how it turned out. And now we're ready to start on the sides. Did you feel them sand easily? What? Did you feel them sand? The main. The main. So Jimmy got that uh, trim all finished up for us. Um, this would be the back side again. And he also did the same thing on the front. We put some brick mold on there and we had to make some special brick mold because the doors are big and it looked kind of funny with the small. And now we are gonna move on to the fridge. Watch this. So I wanted the refrigerator to match the cabinets, but we could not find a black refrigerator that was close in color that wasn't extremely expensive. So we decided to paint it and I think it turned out great. So it's getting that time. It's almost time to set this tiny house in its location. So that means you have to have electrical. That means you have to have sewer. That means you have to have water. And so we have spent the last week getting this all accomplished. And I do believe it's all in place now. Uh, we have a little bit of electrical left to do. But after that, this is going to be home. This will be the picture that we have out the back door. And we are really excited about this. So this week we are back to the outside and we are going to try to make it look similar to the picture as you see. We've had to reorder metal. Uh, some of the metal was the wrong color when it came in. And so the process had to start over, which took longer. But this is what we are going for in our final design. And hopefully we will have some uh, video for you next week and you'll get to see what the outside of this thing is gonna look like. So stay tuned and thanks for tuning in everybody. We appreciate all of you that have viewed this. If you have comments, questions, just leave them and we will get back to you. Have a great week.